Would you look at this? Look at this. It takes up half my screen. It's a massive box of movies from my friend Joel in Canada. We have a little package swap going on where uh, we pick up films that other people want or little surprise titles once maybe twice a year we send the package to each other and we get all this film goodness great i feel as if uh, a little bit bad i missed out in the severance sale but i've got a box of complete awesome here that i'm going to tear into uh, and see what's inside so let's get started Ladies and gentlemen, we are in. Some extra packaging. A letter which I have to read after the fact. Let's start off with, ooh. Some nice ones. Ooh, I said this. We've got some Kino Lorber 4Ks here. Uh, we have got Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which is a phenomenal movie. I love this one. Haven't seen it, and I believe this is all down to Joel's wonderful mother, Leslie, who insisted that he get this for me. Um, obviously a woman of great taste. What more is there to say? Next up we've got a little note on this one that says, That Robert Forster is one hot piece of tail. Like myself, Joel is a huge fan of Forster and we love him. And we have Alligator on 4K. I am so excited to check this one out. This is going to be one that I watch pretty soon. Uh, it's been a few years since I've seen it. And I uh, utterly love it. A little bit disjointed by the, the state of Robert Forster's hair in this one. But still a great movie. Uh, and like I said, monster movies. I, I utterly adore monster movies. Um, now, I think here we have a couple of Severin titles. I... I insisted that Joel pick up for me and I don't know why. I just, I, I don't know why I wanted this as much as I did, but I know it's got a wonderful documentary on it. I know the movie's probably going to be crap. I don't care. I want to see it. Nosferatu in Venice. He's losing his mind. You know, it's, it's an unnecessary sequel. Um, it's probably going to be utterly crazy in a good way and I want to check it out and similarly uh, Joe said he would send me uh, Demonia because the Arrow release came out it was ridiculously priced so expensive so unnecessary it has Fulci and I do want to see some more Fulci I love Fulci and this one is supposed to be uh, fine uh, you know but still I do want to see it um, let's see what else Next up we have some Arrow titles. We have one here, I have to give a shout out to someone, I think it's someone else who's put this one into the box. It is Sailor Suit and Machine Gun. Uh, I was quite interested in this one and I've heard a lot of people say you should pick it up, it's going to be interesting. I've just not got round to it, I do now. And uh, I think this one was supplied by Joe McFarlane who kind of threw it in the box or supplied it to Joe who's gave it to me which is great. I'm going to get to this one pretty soon, I think, because it looks very interesting how uh, <laughs> Joe has included one of my favourite 80s movies of all time, an Arrow release that never came over here, which I don't know why it didn't come over here. It's a phenomenal movie, one that I discovered on TV and have loved since then, and looking forward to actually getting to watch this with my daughter, and that is The Last Starfighter. You know... I, I hope you've seen The Last Starfighter. If not, you should do it. You need to let me know your thoughts on the movie if you've checked it out. It's, oh, I did. And the, the good times just keep coming. We have... We've got some Criterions here as well. Joe's a big fan of Criterion and there's some in here that he said that I, I have to see. So first up, we have Ratcatcher, Lynn Ramsey's debut movie. Now, Joe was kind of appalled that I hadn't seen this, particularly as I love Morvan Caller, as I love um, We Need to Talk About Kevin, that I have it um, and I need to check it out, which I'm sure is going to be another outstanding release because that, that woman just knocks it out of the park. Next up, we have um, a film noir, one of the best ever, directed by Billy Wilder 
and it is the 4K release of Double Indemnity. Yes! Yes! If you haven't seen this, it's a terrific movie. Um, Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck are terrific uh, as they kind of pair caught up with each other, the femme fatale, the everyday man that gets caught up in it. Edward G. Robertson is just terrific as well. Um, 4K disc of this, I can't believe I've got this. Uh, you know, 4K film noir. Can life get any better? Really? Wow. Um, as I was saying, can life get any better? <laughs> it turns out it can, actually, because included here with a wonderful cover of the old uh, poster artwork, it is the 4K Kino Lorber disc of Touch of Evil, which I utterly adore. It's a fantastic movie. Um, this one has three versions of the film. Mother of God. And I think they're all on 4K, which is amazing. Um, wonderful release. Oh man, can't wait to watch this. Um, it's going to be a, a double bill of film noir late one night, I think, for myself. Need to get the projector out for that. Um, and from some wonderful movies, film noirs, we go into another absolute classic up there with uh, Double Indemnity uh, and <laughs> Touch of Evil. Can't even keep a straight face saying this. When I wanted, uh, Joel obliged on that. This is when I, I did ask for and it is the 4K disc of Hard Target. I love this movie. I, I do. Lance Henriksen is just fantastic. John Woo is great. It's got it's got Jean-Claude Van Damme punching a snake. It's as wonderful as you would expect it to be. Next up, we have got one of Joel's favourite movies that he said he was including um, in the disc for me. It's not one I've heard of tomorrow, but I know it's a film noir. I looked into it. I think it's a film noir, I believe. And that is Odds Against Tomorrow. Um, this isn't a story, it's an explosion. Harry Belafonte, Robert Ryan and Shelley Winter star in this one. So directed by Robert Wise, again, I, I don't want to look at the back of it. This is one of those movies that I really want to go into cold, um, take it in face value. It's so, it's so rare that you get to just throw in something that's completely blank, that you don't know anything about, that you just want to check out. Uh, next we have a little surprise movie that he has flung in. I, I believe this is the one that he's been talking about. And it just is, you know, it says on it, rest in peace, Norm, Bob, Chris and Dawn. And it is Norm, <laughs> directed by Bob Saget, starring Norm Macdonald, Dirty Work. Joel is a huge fan of Norm Macdonald. I know it kind of hit him hard when uh, Norm passed because he was such a big fan. He assures me that this is something that I may like. It might be up my street, my kind of humour, and I should check it out. And I will definitely give it uh, a watch pretty soon. Comedy movie, should be fine. He's shown me lots of clips from the movie. So yeah, I will get to that soon. No, I mean, he's a, he's a hot piece of tail. Yeah. And jumping into the last package here. Um, so I am I am super excited about these now these are the next Cauldron releases that uh, Joel pre-ordered for me so they're coming with the wonderful uh, slip covers and things on them uh, first up is Lucio Filci's Contraband which I've wanted to see for a while um, and uh, I know both Joel and I are, are strong fanatics of Cat Ellinger who is in my eyes, the best uh, kind of film critic working in the boutique world at the moment. Um, and I think she's done some amazing work and I believe she does some work on this disc, uh, which I will check out, definitely. So Kat Ellinger, Lucio Fulci, Contraband from Cauldron, outstanding. And one movie that I am super excited to check out is Murder in a Blue World, uh, directed by De La Inglesia, who films I've recently just discovered and every single one seems to be really amazing. This just looked absolutely fantastic with the trailer for it. Um, in a violent dystopian consumer fed future, blackmails nurse Anna 
after witnessing her commit a murder. When Anna and Victor discover David is a known gang member with extensive criminal past, they make a plan to turn the tables and use him for their own clandestine purposes. Great. Uh, well, again, we've got another commentary by Kat Ellinger. So that disc has just went up even more in estimation of my eyes. Now that is... Ugh. That is everything that Joel has sent me and I'm sure you'll agree, it's a phenomenal package. I'm super excited to get stuck into these. The only issue is, what do you watch first? So much choice, so many things I haven't seen, so many things I love, so many 4K goodness. Now Joel sent me a note in here, he said to read after the package. So let's get into it and see what he says. Dear Graham, as always, I hope that this package finds you and your family well and in great health. This one is heavy on the noir. 4K noir at that. Touch of evil. Double indemnity. Another noir in the package is Odds Against Tomorrow, my favourite noir film of all time. Yet again, I'm sending you a Robert Forster film. That's one hot piece of tail. The Alligator 4K rips. I got you the stateside Arrow release of The Last Starfighter, which was on a double bill with Cloak and Dagger back in the day. Invasion is a magnificent 4K. Enjoy Hard Target. The Cauldron films are great, but Murder in the Blue World is one of the best unearthed gems of the year. Sailor Shoot and Machine Gun comes courtesy of my very good pal Joe. Shout out to you, Joe. Dirty Work is a hilarious film that showcases a Toronto that is long gone. Rest in peace, Norm. Ratcatcher from the Great Lynn Ramsay should be used as a tourism ad for Scotland. Great film. And hey, enjoy those Severin titles. Also, shout out to Bay Video in Toronto. Physical media still matters and they're a great store to support. Also, join Graham's membership programme and Patreon. He gets freaky. <laughs> Joel, PS Surgery is a new sex. Uh, just be said, Joel bought these titles all from Bass Street Video. He goes on about that store all the time. If anybody from there is watching, give the guy a discount because I know he's spending a fortune there. Joe, thank you very much for being an awesome friend. Thank you very much for sending me this absolutely amazing package of just goodness. I know you've seen everything here and you strongly recommend most of it, apart from the Severin titles. <laughs> Wait, I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh, thank you to your mum, Leslie, for making you give me Invasion of the Body Snatchers because, you know, shows the woman has fantastic taste. Everybody else, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.